You know, having been away from the YouTube shit swirl for a little while, I've... I think I've come to the conclusion that I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake, but and, and it's the same mistake that a lot of other people have made. Uh, De Waterman, he's talking about this George Zimmerman thing, going into excruciating detail on the topics, and I... I'm going to be a little bit presumptuous here. I'm going to be presumptuous. And presume, I'm presuming that Dewata Man likes my videos more than he likes the Flexicans videos or Piro's videos. I'm, I'm just, you know, that's a little bit self-centered, presumptuous, but I'm just going to presume that. And for the sake of argument, let's, let's assume that. Who is he making video responses to? Is he making video responses to Fringe Elements? No, he's making video responses to the Flexican and Piro. Right. He's making video responses to people um, that he's not getting along with very well. I make video responses. Who have I made video responses the last two times? Well, I've made video responses to two people. One, Snake Pliskinist, who really disappointed me. Really disappointed me. I thought there there was some some rationality. Well, not rationality. That, that's the wrong term. I thought there was some... I thought there was some more there there, but unfortunately I think he's just kind of a YouTube atheist. I don't know, he says, well, business, business, I don't know if I really believe that. So I don't know what he even really believes or anything, but I'm just kind of disappointed in Snake Pliskinus. I had higher hopes for him. Uh, and I made a video response to Hannibal Barca, who I have no hopes for. Uh, and I made some videos to, to Evo Gen videos. And I think maybe I should talk about, about the arguing with, with, with radical egalitarians. Anyway, and the problem, do you see the problem there? I'm not making video responses to secular numinist, for example, who's someone who I think is, is, a, is, is an honest thinker. I think that's the best w words to, to put on it. I think Duwata Man and secular numinist are honest thinkers. For example, when, when secular numinist is talking about antinatalism, what he's doing, it, when he did that, what he, what he did is he tried to come up with a whole bunch of arguments in favor of it. Arguments that Inmendum didn't even make. He was looking for a way to make it work, you see. And when I look at, um, you know, several egalitarian arguments, now I haven't been able to do this much recently because the, <laughs> the kind of arguments that I'm getting at me over and over again are not. Like the race thing is, is unique. It's a really unique situation in terms of the emotionality of it and the personalization of it. Anyway, um, but I believe, you know, I'm, I'm tooting my own horn here. I believe I did the same thing on the antinatalism thing, tried to find a way to make it work argue for it, even though I don't hold the base values that are necessary to be an antinatalist, but, but argue it kind of from an outside perspective, um, you know, and, and, you know, and, and, and another thing, like I was, was made a video about the, the Holocaust, and I took a position on the Holocaust with a degree of confidence that was unwarranted, and, and Secular Newman has sent me a few sources. Not, you know, a bunch of bullshit sources, you know, like the Jewish Virtual Library or any of these. These just the kind of sources that Hannibal Barca would cite about the Holocaust or anything. But he cited some real stuff that really, you know, um, you know, I brought up, for example, I brought up the Leuchter Report. And the Secular Numinist didn't, you know, send me something saying, Well, Fred Leuchter is, is biased and he wrote something about the Holocaust didn't happen and he has some right-wing tendency, right? N none of that crap. He cited me something that says, here's an other team of experts that went down there, and here's why the Zyklon B concentrations were much lower in the alleged homicidal gas chambers as opposed to the cl clothing fumigation chambers, because the clothing fumigation chambers had to kill the, the fleas, and the fleas require more Zyklon B than a human. Right? And so I was like, oh, wow, well that's, that's actually something interesting. And so I, I stopped talking about that. Um, and that's the kind of interaction that I believe is fruitful. But unfortunately, but if we don't make those interactions, that circle is not going to grow. And I know that sounds kind of cheesy and kind of hokey, but that's what you have on the interwebs is you have little circles. And these circles grow through interaction. And if you continue to interact with crap, the crap circle is going to grow. Uh, I hope that be understood. And I'm just putting kind of a plea out here um, or general, you know, change in behavior that I'm going to engage in and I'm going to try to lead the way here is to not make video responses to, to uh, butthole mouths 
uh, and instead make video responses to people like Hell's Unicorn, people like Secular Newman is, or Newman, people like Dewada Man, uh, people like Libertarian Realist, okay, and, and have, and, and have, uh, fruitful discussions. Um, people like Laughing Man, but he's not making videos, he's become a homosexual. And what I've noticed is that I think a lot of people, and I know that what happened with me, is that I'm kind of afraid to let it all hang out there, because... Because this is a really prickish intellectual environment where if you get, where if you cite like one fact wrong, that people will make a video response to you, hooking onto this one thing you got wrong, and then try to make it out to be like some generalized point, right? And so there's, there's kind of a chilling effect that comes from a dishonest intellectual environment. An honest intellectual environment isn't going to make, you know, hay about, for example, not including the, the, uh, East Asian slash Indian cohort in the Minnesota transracial adoption study, right? Like the Minnesota transracial adoption study, there was a cohort of East Asians, you know, Koreans, Chinese, Japanese type people, and Indians in the study, but it was a heterogeneous sample, and they didn't tell us how many East Asians and how many Indians were in there, so it was, it was a useless sample, you know. When Rushton and Jensen were talking about the study, they didn't even mention that cohort. And in the responses to Rushton and Jensen, nobody else brought up that cohort, right? Neither the, you know, egalitarians or hereditarians in the know bothered to care about it, right, or bothered to bring it up. But the fact that, for example, Socrates brought it up, and now that meme's out there, and a bunch of people are repeating that meme, you need to bring up the Asian cohort, uh, it's, that's just intellectual prickery. And it prevents, and it makes it harder to make videos because you have to watch every little thing, and it's just a pain. You can't, you can't express ideas. There's, you can't flow. The ideas can't flow because because the price of saying something wrong is too high, right? And that comes from a dishonest intellectual environment, is is what I'm saying. And so what I'm saying is 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 what I've already said, and I'm just kind of looping here is, yeah, so I'm going to try to avoid video responses to um, just shitty people and instead respond to people who are uh, intellectually honest and are trying to figure things out as opposed to trying to defeat an opponent or something like that. So yeah, that's that's just the point of this video, what I wanted to say.